Good morning, boss man. Good morning. Feels weird seeing you behind the glass there. That's right. You're working on, you got a full shift today. I do got a full shift and you are not going to be here. I'm starting at noon. I got to do some tow jobs. The bank called, got some repos we got to do this morning. Always making excuses, I see. Well, I think my checks came in to the police station here for all the work I did on those on those cars on the pile up in the snow. Uh, yeah, it is here. Okay. Should have been it's from the like... semi and then the Mustang and the BMW. So, like, all those three jobs. Those were big jobs. Jeremiah did really good. Yeah, all, all I see is a check. Do you, do you want okay. it or? Yes, I want the check. All right, here's 6000 What do you think I should take today? can never decide. Take the side by side, man. Yeah? I, I feel like a lot of kids, you'll drive. Well, not just kids, but anybody that appreciates this beast is going to like it. All right, lights work. Lights work. I'm yep, heading out. Good to go. See you, man. All right, enough jibber jabber. We got to get some repo jobs. The bank called this morning, and there's like a uh, forward pickup that we got to repo. We're going to warm up a little bit. Coolant level. Yep, we're well below 100 degrees. The reason why this car is getting repoed is because the owner got a loan from the bank to purchase the vehicle, and they quit paying that monthly payment to pay off the loan. And so now the bank wants the vehicle back, so then they sell the vehicle and get their money back that they loan to the owner. Okay, here's the motel, and it's a kind of baby blue F-250. And that looks like a baby blue F-250. That sticks out like a sore thumb. All right, here we go, lights on here. Uh, hopefully they're, obviously they're probably home, but we're gonna try and be quiet, but I do have to have my lights on here. There we go, let's get the hook hooked up here. And before we get too far, let's make sure there's no truck. F-250 XLT Super Duty, this has the diesel in it as well. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty nice truck. Let's make sure the VIN is correct and we'll be good to go. Yep, last four match and license plate match is perfect. This shouldn't be a bad winch. I released the park, so it should be rolling free, you'd think. Okay, it's, ca oh no, I'm lifting up the truck, but I'm lifting up my truck at the same time. Oh, the front tires are coming off. Oh no, the old Mac Daddy doesn't have enough weight to him. Oh no. We're popping wheelies. That's not, okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's not damage anything. All right, I released the rope. This is not gonna work at all, and unfortunately, I kind of moved it out of its spot. Okay, how does the owner not know that I'm repoing this? A lot of times, guys, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna leave the hook on here. A lot of times, what happens is they see me out here, I got my lights, a loud truck, and then they come out here and give me heck. They don't want to see their car repoed, so we have a 10 minute drive back to the police station to get the Peterbilt flatbed. Oh, uh, most likely the guy's gonna take his truck and leave. Dang it. All right, we got the Peterbilt fired up, and we're gonna head back there as soon as possible. And call boss man real quick. Let him know what the situation is. Hey, boss man, what's going on, man? Nothing much. Just on duty. You have a few parking tickets out, but pretty nice. boring shift so far. Boring is good. Boring is safe. I actually, I have a bad feeling about this repo. The truck was too heavy for my Mac, and I was popping a wheelie. You know how that is. So I'm coming back to get another truck. I just got a bad feeling the guy's gonna give me a hard time or something. So if you could kind of be in the area, I'm on the motel on the northeast side of the town. I could start making my way there, but I'm a ways away, man. I'm literally across, like in the mountains. Uh, yeah, just make your way over if you can. Okay. I'll be there when I can. Just hopefully things just go well. Here we go, guys. Let's get the bed up here. The nice thing about the Peterbilt, it's a bit faster than the Mac. I don't got to get out as much. Make sure all the rigging is right. And once we get on the flatbed, then we're good to go. And it's not a big deal. And the Peterbilt will easily be able to hand this, handle the weight. I think it's rated for 15,000 pounds. And it's winching up real good. There the winch goes. Nice. All right. Straighten it out. Perfect. And once we get it up, we're going to strap it down, put the bed back, and we'll be good to go. Let's turn and burn. That was easier than I thought. Let's get going. Whoa, who's this guy getting? Hey, man. I'm guessing this is the owner. Hey, man, I got your truck. Here's the papers. You're getting repossessed. Oh, no, this this is exactly what I was. Hey, boss, man, this is Spencer. I just got the truck loaded up, and the guy was jumping on my truck and, and punching my door. This isn't good. Are you, are you close? Man, I'm on my way, but I'll turn my lights. I, oh, I'm he's following quite me. quite a distance. He's you're in the UTV he's now? following you? Yeah, he's, and I'm in a cul-de-sac. Oh, come on, man. Oh, okay, he's I'll, blocking I'll the road. There, I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm on my way. This just guy's crazy. He just hit my truck? Okay, uh, I don't know what to do. Boss man, he doesn't have license plates either, at least on the front. Okay, let's go. He's just gonna keep hitting it. Let's leave. Okay, okay. I, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just focus on driving, man. Okay, what do I, he's got to take me out or something. Lose him. Like, he, okay, Buck I'm, taught you how to drive. That's true. That's true. Sergeant Buck taught us how to drive, handle these situations. I'm a police officer, too. I should just pull out and show my badge, but this guy's kind of getting a little crazy. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Juke him out. I juked him out. There we go. He flew into those decks, but this truck, the maneuverability is so bad. I got to make like a five point turn. All right, let's go. Let's go. He got turned back around too. All right, let's cut it. Sorry, bushers. There we go. Once we get ahead of steam, this beautiful is pretty quick. Slam on the brakes. 
and I got a pretty heavy truck back there too, so it slows us down a bit. He's on me. Hit the horn. Everybody get out of the way. Coming through. What I'm thinking, oh, good. The train just crossed. What I'm thinking, I'm going to head up to the police station. Hopefully, boss man is there by now, and this guy won't be able to mess with us because, one, we're at the police station, and two, I'm a cop. Oh, no. He's catching me. All right. Up the drive, up the driveway. Move it, move it. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to take it. Oh, we, we're flipped. We're flipped. Come on. Come on. Come on. Freeze, dirtbag. Freeze, please. Put your hands up. Turn around. Boss man, I'm in, I'm in pursuit on foot. We're heading southeast towards town. You're in pursuit? Are you? Do you have your badge with you? Yep. I I said I'm the police. Freeze, dirtbag. Are you close to him? We're crossing the railroad tracks. We are actually on the railroad tracks running right now. All right. I got to toss my walkie. on the railroad tracks. Yep, we're heading east on the railroad tracks next to the highway. Freeze, dirtbag. This is the police. This guy's quick. He, I'm going to get you. Oh, he just jumped. Oh, my goodness. He just jumped into the water. I'm not jumping down there. All right, screw it. Uh, boss man, radio in. This is Spencer. He just, he jumped on McGregor Bridge underneath the river. Under, wait, wait that's a big jump. Yeah, it was is like at least is 20 he, feet and the water wasn't too deep. Is he still there? Like, yeah, he swam away. He swam away? Yeah. After that jump, he just started swimming. Yeah, pretty much. But I got his Hummer. It's back at the police station. Just go to the police station. <sighs> I am, I'm so tired. I literally sprinted a mile there. Okay, boss man, you're back. Yeah, check this out, dude. This isn't good. What the heck? Who? Okay. So, I understand there's a whole accident, but who makes their car look like this? I don't know. Let me break it down. This is the bad guy's Hummer, I'm guessing, or a buddy's. It was at the motel as well, but this is his truck, and he was trying to get it back because I repoed him. I I gave him the papers. I literally said, hey, here's the papers from the bank. Okay, on the phone call, he was jumping on your vehicle and you're throwing papers at him. Did you really think he was going to care? No, probably not. But, you know, it's kind of procedure. You got to show proof. So anyway, I told him I was cop too when I was chasing him. He jumped off McGregor Bridge into the water, swam away. Okay, good thing you let him go because that sounds like I was just getting too dangerous. You said you guys were on the train tracks at one point. Like, yeah, we were running on the train tracks for a while, man, dude. He was pretty fast. I thought you I was gotta fast. call off. You have to call off pursuits when they get that crazy. We're or on else, foot, dude. It, we're only risking his life. Yeah, and mine. but okay, but that's the thing. You don't want anything bad to happen. Like, what if a train came? Could have taken both you guys. I would there. step to the side. I guess that's a good point. What if you tripped? What if your shoelace was stuck in the track? I would rip the shoelace off. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, how are we gonna do this? We have to tow your tow truck. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna tip this back over, and then we're gonna hit the Humvee back over, and we got two for one. We got the truck and the Hummer. All right, watch this. Get out of the way. Okay. Is he going? All right, that's not working. What we gotta do? We gotta do the old one too. Back her up. Get some speed and floor it. How are you gonna pull it over when it's on this side? Come on. Man, that did nothing. I know. I want to pull close. it this way because otherwise it'll sit on top of the Hummer, and that's not oh, going to work. Oh, true. What if we get the Hummer out of here? Here, I have an idea. I'm going to get in the truck. Okay, I got that rope detached. What were you thinking? Just watch out, okay? Ever so lightly. There you go. push it out of the way. That's good. That's good. Maybe I'll jump in, and I can get it to twist. Watch this. You can just kind of turn the wheels. See, oh. look at that. It's like Monster Jam. You know how they do that? I guess it is a Hummer. Look at that. Okay. Well, there we go. Do you really think the Peterbilt can do that? Turn the wheel. Reverse. Okay. Turn the wheel forward. Come on. There we go. There we go. Biscuits and gravy. Let's go, boys. Uh, so, yeah, you uh, definitely damaged that repo vehicle. Jeez Louise. No, it's not that bad. I mean, that guy damaged it, so. And for the bank, if they don't think the truck's worth that much anymore, then we can give them the Hummer, too. They'll be happy about that. Oh, yeah. I guess we do have this Hummer now. Yeah, we got to figure out all these plates and where everything connects to. Get this thing off of here. Well, the truck still runs good. Let's pull her off. There you go. Here, let me get this hook off. Yep, absolutely. There you go. Drop it on. Get it on my tow truck. Wow, man. You can't just have one normal day. No, uh, it was pretty busy. Well, you were having a boring day, so I thought I would spice it up for you. Man, I, there was someone who was reported vandalizing, like, the forest. I was way out there and got me all distracted. I'm going to have to go still check up on that. Oh, what did they do to the forest? I don't know. All these trees have all these markings. They had, like, a spray bottle, and they weren't, like, marking trees the way they're supposed to. They started writing stuff. I think they actually were kind of talking about our old dealership. They might be a hater. I saw really? something about a dealership. Yeah, it said, like, gold crest on a tree. I don't know. It was weird. Hmm. I'll look into it. That's interesting. All right. Well, this guy's still on the loose, so... As you're patrolling, look for this guy who's wearing gray shirt, shorts, and tennis shoes. And he had okay, you're not that far off with your own fit besides you're wearing pants. Are you sure it's not you? It's not me. All right, boss man, I'm starting up my shift, and you're working overtime, aren't you? Yes, I am, like always. Yeah, you're a hardworking guy, but you don't have two jobs like me. Well, technically, I have three jobs. 
Yeah, well, I have a whole, like, mansion to take care of. That's quite a bit of work itself. That's true. That's true. Even though you have a maid, you have a butler, you got a gardener, you got a cook. Yeah, I, I got to pay my accountants to then send them money. That's true. That's true. Okay, I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to start searching for that guy. If you want to help me, you can, but, yeah, I'm just going to start pretty much driving down the riverbank. Okay, I'm heading back to the forest. I got to do what I was doing before. Okay. See ya. Yep, see you later, boss man. Good luck. I'm going to go on a little walk here upstream and then i'm gonna look through the forest and stuff and hopefully i find like a piece of clothing that would be really good give it to the scent dogs then they can chase them down well i've been searching for a while now haven't found nothing i'm about to call it quits boss man's about done for the day as well it's kind of tough just doing it by yourself thank you guys so much for watching hit the like button i'll see you all in the next one Peace.